In a very significant milestone, the DRDO has successfully conducted the first flight of the Swift Autonomous Flying Wing Technology Demonstrator today. The One Ton Swift is a technological demonstrator project to bridge the technology gaps towards the design and development of the 13 ton Aura Autonomous Stealthy Unmanned Combat Air Vehicle, that will be powered by a 46 kN dry cavalry engine, that will have the capability to conduct deep strike missions over hostile and heavily contested airspace. According to latest reports, the talks between the RDO and French firm Safran have progressed considerably, and are currently in final stages to sign an agreement for the joint development of a 110 kN engine, and there is hardly any chance for the American firm General Electric to make a late entry, which had refused to transfer core technology in 2019, and was also not ready to incorporate the RDO developed technology in the new proposed engine and offered only a local license manufacturing contract similar to the AL-31F engine deal that India has with Russia for Su-30, where the entire supply chain from spares and components would remain with General Electric, with no scope of India carrying out any improvements or upgrades. The new Indo-French engine will not be based on the Snigma M883 engine, but will share some technology initially, but later variants will have much more improved components. The Indo-French engine will have smaller dimensions as compared to American F-414 engine, so that it can be equipped on the Tejas Mark II at a later stage without any modification to the airframe. The DRDO has started work to develop a ground-based air defense system based on the VLSR SAM for the Indian Air Force, and the first developmental trials might start from 2024 onwards. It can engage and destroy aircraft helicopters cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles at 50 km range, and protect high-value assets and mass population centers against air-to-surface threats. The VLSR SAM ground-based air defense system will be light enough, so that it can be mounted on a small trailer carriage in a ready-to-fire configuration inside the protective canisters that can be positioned on top of a high-rise building, and will feature network-centric open architecture that provides increased survivability against electronic countermeasures. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said, that the DRDO had demonstrated a fuel cell-based air-independent propulsion system on a land-based prototype, and it has completed all requisite trials, and the DRDO has now started work on a module, that can be fitted on INS Calvary during its retrofitting in 2025. All six Calvary-class submarines will be fitted with the indigenous AIP system from 2025 to 2030, that will significantly enhance their submerged endurance. Hindustan Aeronautics has successfully conducted the first flight of wheeled version of advanced light helicopter with segmented main rotor blades and main rotor head in pre-cone configuration, that are developed to address the stringent storage dimension requirement specified by Indian Navy, and to improve the time between overhauls life of the main gearbox. The segmented blade feature reduces the folded length and width of the advanced light helicopter, thus making it compatible with the hangar space available on most of the Indian Navy ships, and also reduces the time required for folding and unfolding operations. India is all set to sign a military logistics agreement with the UK during the forthcoming visit of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh to Britain on 4 July. The British officials are ready to make a strong pitch for a partnership on 110 kN jet engine, Rolls-Royce MT-30 marine engine development, collaboration on integrated full electric propulsion for Indian Navy warships of the future, airborne early warning systems, laser beam riding manpad, underwater maritime domain awareness, and several advanced weaponry and military technologies will be offered on a co-development basis. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will also be given a demonstration of technologies on offer, during his visit to the Royal Navy's HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier. 
the ISRO has successfully launched the PSLV C-53 mission and placed three Singaporean satellites in their desired orbit, that includes a 365 kg multi-spectral Earth observation satellite, a 155 kg small commercial satellite with a synthetic aperture radar, and a 2.8 kg student satellite from a Singaporean university. Oh, my God.